All right, guys, welcome to the video today. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the Clever Dragon. It's the new pulse rifle for Rise of Iron. A lot of the guns have like really weird animations and like sound effects when they're shooting. So um, they're definitely, it definitely feels like a completely unique set of weapons. And this weapon specifically is one that I got to roll with some really good set of perks, especially considering the base stats on this item. It's the same archetype as Grasp of Malik. So same impact, same rate of fire. Um, but I thought I'd make a video about it because this thing is super good. I was using it in a few rumbles and it just felt really nice. It felt a lot better than the Trials Pulse Rifle, which is getting a lot of um, praise for being one of the best pul Pulse Rifles out there right now. And uh, this thing honestly feels better uh, to me than that one. So um, here we go. So I've really only had a few hours to play around with this thing. So I don't know if this is the perfect or ideal role, but having Iron Red Dot along with a choice between Small Bore and uh, Brace Frame, as well as a choice between Quick Draw and Appended Magazine. And then I run Secret Rounds. So basically if I miss a shot from the magazine, magazine or from the burst it's gonna end up firing a fourth shot um, it just feels really good appended magazine um, kind of cancels out the effect from brace frame which um, you know with a pulse rifle like this having an extra six bullets is really nice to have because I was using it for a few games not running that I was running quick draw over it and I found that a lot of times I was not able to really get two kills before I could reload so I would get one kill have to reload and then um, if my reload animation didn't cancel and I didn't get the reload off then I would just kind of be screwed and only have six bullets for the next gunfight. So this is kind of my ideal role. I'm not quite sure what else I would take over this. It just feels super solid, super consistent. Having that uh, stability is, uh, you know, from brace frame, I think is the key to a role. Like on hand cannons, how you want rifled barrel with this specific archetype and with this specific um, stat roll on, on a pulse rifle, having increased stability without having any sacrifice to range, I think is your best route possible. Obviously, you can't choose what role you have, um, but this role, feels super good so far. Something I should mention is I've never actually used a grass before and given that these are the same exact archetype, how would these stack up? I don't really know. Um, I'm assuming that a lot of people who actually have grasps, if they're interested in getting one, they grind it to the point where they had a perfect roll. So if you're one of those people that perhaps has a brace frame, you know, maybe counterbalance, feeding frenzy, something along those lines on a grasp of Malak, is it really worth it to grind Iron Banner for this weapon? Probably not. But if you're like me and you never took the time to grind Omnigol and you don't really feel like doing it and you want a, you know, really strong pulse rifle of this exact archetype, then doing Iron Banner is your best bet. You can try to level up to the maximum rank in order to buy it but from what i've seen you're probably better off just trying to get a random roll from what i remember i'll put the i'll put the rolls on the screen right now um, but i'm not quite sure that the vendor roll is the best one out there and especially for a weapon like this stability is a must-have so brace frame is kind of your ideal perk on this weapon it's like like i said earlier you know it's like rifled barrel on a hand cannon you can pretty much get away with this weapon as long as you have brace frame it doesn't really matter too much what the other perks are um, but in this case i think this is kind of my ideal set of perks. I also really like the sight too. So, um, you know, if you have a perfect grasp of Malik, I'm saying, or I'm pretty much just trying to say that I don't know if it's worth grinding Iron Banner for this thing, but, um, you know, it's a super good archetype. Obviously, it's super fun to play with. I had a, f a ton of fun because, um, you know, normally when I'm trying to get gameplay for these sort of videos, it'll take me like an hour or something. And uh, with this weapon, time was flying. And I think the games you're watching right now were all consecutively played. So I didn't have any game where it was difficult to use or I couldn't perform well with it. It's just overall like a super solid gun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I try to, I'm trying to keep them as short as possible. I'm really sick right now. Um, it's really hard to, to do commentaries because it feels like I'm suffocating myself right after I finish the sentence. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.